All right, welcome. And in this video, I'll be uh, doing something a bit different. I was actually going to do a um, different video today, but uh, I just didn't have the time. So I'm gonna do it next time, uh, which will... Because I can't keep doing this where I promise to make a video and then I don't. So uh, sorry about that, but uh, yeah, that's just how it is. But um, in this video, uh, I'm not sure if you read the title, I think you did, but uh, I'm gonna show you how to get the best performance possible and um, just clean your computer the best way to make Generation Zero run better and um, many other games as well but mostly Generation Zero because we'll be doing some stuff in this thing right here. Um, now I'm not sure how to do this on a like it depends like if you have any NVIDIA graphics card or an AMD. Um, I have an NVIDIA graphics card, so for those who have NVIDIA, this will definitely help. And also for AMD, I mean, it's basically the same thing. You just have to look around a little bit more if you have uh, the AMD card. Uh, but in general, it should be the same. Uh, not exactly, but it should, like, it should be very similar to the menus and all the other stuff. So let's begin by opening up uh, this NVIDIA control panel. So I'm gonna do that. All right, now if you wanna open up the NVIDIA control panel, if you don't have it down here, which I have, or on desktop, then you need to find it somehow. Now you can't just search after it, or some people might be able to, but I, I can't find it here. So what you wanna do is go to the, uh, the control panel, um, and then you wanna go to machine and sound. It's in Swedish, so I, yeah. Uh, but you wanna go here, and then it should be right here. So you click on it, and it should pop up. But yeah, here it is, and um, you'll see these, this menu thing on the side. Uh, go to Manage 3D Settings. And over here, you will be uh, greeted with this. Uh, you won't, I don't think you will be touching this now, but maybe later. So you're now on Global Settings. You wanna go to Program Settings. And this is where it gets a bit tricky for some users, I guess, uh, for the less technical advanced users. But um, if you go to Program Settings, and then you'll see this drop-down menu, uh, right here, you want to find Generation Zero. If Generation Zero isn't here, then yeah, that's where the tricky part comes in. You're going to have to find it, but I already have it here. So um, if you want to find it, then you go to add and um, you're going to have to look for the directory of Generation Zero. Now, you don't have to manually look for it. Uh, you could just uh, go to Steam and um, basically do this. You right click Properties, Local Files, and Browse Local Files. And then over here, you will uh, have uh, this. And this is basically where the game is installed. Um, so you click once and then you get a whole, like, I don't know what this, this is called, but the link, I guess. Uh, but what you need is this. So basically the hard drive where Steam is installed, I think. Steam apps, common, and then the game. So common is basically where all the games are. Um, now you could also have three hard drives, which I have, or more than, you're gonna have to know where you installed them. So that's that. Uh, but you wanna find Generation Zero inside here. If you can't find it in here, then you're gonna have to browse, and that's where this comes in. You know, you're looking for it and all that. So, and after you have found it, it should look like this. Um, you have a lot of settings, as you've seen before, and in here you want to copy my settings, basically. Um, so, some settings might not be there. That's because, uh, or that might be because of the graphics card or other things. Um, but you should be able to have, uh, for example, the power management mode. Uh, you should have this on prefer maximum performance. Um, the OpenGL rendering GPU should be auto select and uh, the texture filtering should be on clamp and uh, the trilinear optimization should be on. And then threaded optimization should also be on. All the triple buffering and VSync stuff should be off, completely off. And yeah, that's about it. There's nothing really else to uh, do here, but that's uh, that. All right, so once you're done in here, you're you're gonna want to save all the settings. So there should be cancel and save down here. You wanna click on save. I don't have that because, well, I've not changed anything. So just click save down here and exit. Now uh, we're gonna do some other stuff. 
um, when it comes to just cleaning out the computer, like getting rid of uh, unnecessary stuff that's lying around, like that's eating up your RAM basically. So you want to go to down here to this thing, or actually, if you don't have this, then you want to search for it. So you want to go either here or here, doesn't really matter. You can just type run and it should come up. This should come up and you want to click on it. And then you want to type two things or actually three. Uh, so the first one is temp, which stands for temporary or temporary files. Uh, you want to delete absolutely everything in here. This is just temp like stuff that has been used and will never be used again. And it's just taking up unnecessary space on your computer. So you want to delete. And if this comes up, you just want to check this and uh, just uh, hop over it because it's currently being used. Uh, but everything else is has been used and will never be used again. So that's gone. Now you want to go to the same thing again, which is run. And then you want to type percent uh, and then temp and then percent. And then you will be graded with this. Uh, this is also stuff you have to delete or you don't have to, but I would recommend it. I do it every single week. So you want to remove it and this might just pop up and just jump over it. All right, so everything got deleted. Uh, so that's nice. Uh, but for you, it might just it, some file might not want to be deleted because it's currently being used. So yeah, just cancel that. And um, if that happens to you, All right, next thing is uh, also you have to go down to this thing. Uh, so you want to type prefetch. And this will pop up, which says uh, you have to be like administrator and stuff. So you just continue and all these files are also supposed to be deleted. So select all and remove. All right. So one file um, stayed because it's being used right now, but all the other they have been used and will never be used again. So they're all deleted. Let's see. Is there anything else? Yes, there is something else actually. Um, right. You want to launch the game. And we're going to tweak around with the settings a little bit and uh, basically confirm that you have uh, turned off a few uh, options that are taking your frames, uh, which is not good. So uh, let's launch it. All right. Uh, once you're in, so you want to go to settings and you want to go to display and make sure this is off and uh, make sure VSync is off. And that's important. Turn this off because it will basically make so your like your monitor will be capped at your refresh rate and it will benefit you in some ways, but they're very unnoticeable. And uh, to me, it just isn't worth it. All right, I'm going to tell you what VSync looks like, or I show you what it looks like. This, this right here, this is what it is. Like the lines, like it's tearing the monitor. If you turn really quick, this will happen if you have VSync off, but having this off is much better than having it on because if you have it on then you know it will cap your fps to 60 or whatever your uh refresh rate on your monitor is i think i'm not sure but it could also just cap it to 60 which is logical i guess but the point is to turn off music especially with a game like this so turn it off um yeah the next step is graphics and um you know, some computers can keep everything on ultra, but if you're dipping under 60, like if you're dipping to 50 or if you're like stable 60, then you might want to lower your settings a little bit because it is important to have at least above 60 at most times, basically. People that are new to playing on PC, um, they might feel that their aim is a bit off and that's normal. Uh, that's because you have to, uh, you have to tweak around with your, uh, sensitivity and, um, basically have the options. So it's most comfortable for you. This is the most comfortable for me because I like when everything's slow because that gives me better aim or it, it's basically a lot more accurate is what I'm trying to say. If you have the sensitivity down to low, um, and now there's also DPI, which is almost the same as sensitivity. But if you turn DPI on, on really high, then you will see the difference. Right now I'm moving the mouse just a little bit and it's moving a lot. And if you would imagine yourself playing with this, it would be very inaccurate and you would miss a lot. Uh, I'm going to show you in game actually. All right. 
Whoa. Okay, let me just... Okay, let's exit, and I'll show you it even better. Come on. Get down. Okay. Alright, so I think you can already see it, but, uh... This is sensitivity and DPI. Uh, you can do, like, 1 million 360s in one turn, like... It's ridiculous, basically. Um, now, if you have this on high, then aiming would be absolutely horrible, so... Like, if you want to shoot something at afar, then it would just be really hard. And I just try to turn a little bit, and I just turn, like, a lot, so... Keep that in mind. Change your sensitivity, guys. Uh, it's really necessary for a great mouse and keyboard experience, I guess. Uh, and I'm gonna turn that back to my personal settings. Okay, better. Much better. Um, and yeah, that's it. Um, hope you guys got something good from this, I guess. Um, and hopefully it helped with uh, the frame rate or anything else that you guys had issues with when it comes to frame rate or mouse sensitivity or aim or anything else. So yeah, um, see ya.